Hi, this is Denise Aloka for Donna Downey Studios Artist Gang. For this project, I made a test page. I normally don't do that. Um, I use the Good Luck Elephant Stencil. And my inspiration page was a painting I did a while ago. You saw that there. And that's the background of my blog. I'm using hot press watercolor paper and I taped it off. And I made some homemade tools for the flowers. All I did was cut up tubes, I used the circles, and then I cut some smaller circles and just pinched the edges of the tubes to create the petal shape. When I did this, I taped them together so they wouldn't fall apart when I made the smaller ones. So I started by just stamping the whole page and filling it with the various sized flower stamps that I had made. So I filled the whole page with the bigger and smaller flowers. It's a long page, it's not a normal rectangle, it's um, pretty long. So after I finished with my stamping, I took out my palette and I separated my warm and cools and put my white in the middle. I started with the blue flowers first, I painted all of those petals first. I used a little bit of blue, a little bit of white, that's light blue and white, both of them just on the same brush. When I did this, I forgot to gesso my page, but it really didn't matter. There's a lot of paint going on here, and it's good paper, so it didn't absorb right away. I did the centers with yellow and orange. So orange and blue are complements, so one will pop out at you. Usually the yellow and the orange will pop out a little bit. Then I went back and did all the yellow and orange, just orange flowers, and then put blue centers in those. I put light green in the background first. I snuck it in all those areas of the background. I wasn't painting precise because I know a lot of this is gonna get covered up. A little dark green for some depth. I used the positive and negative of the stencil to check for placement. I was trying to go for four elephants across, but I started over too far and it didn't work out. So I had to change my plan. Um, I used white acrylic paint and a cosmetic sponge on the positive part of the stencil. Looking back at this, I should have used heavy body white acrylic. It would have made my life easier. I wouldn't have had to do so much layering with white paint to make it pop through. So the idea in my head behind this was that I wanted the background to show through the elephants and then have it, the background fade away around the elephants. Just working a little differently. So I went back in with a paintbrush and started going around the um, elephants more just so the white would pop up more. Then I put the third one down and that's when I realized the fourth one wasn't going to fit. I, stamped, I sponged around the third one and then went back with the white brush again because I really didn't see enough difference between the inside of the elephants and the background. So I did a lot of work with white paint and just painting around the shapes. Because I did this, the layers are really building up, which actually helped me out later on. So it dried and I took my black uniball pen out and it kind of just glided along the edges of where I had uh, stenciled. So it made it a little bit easier to redraw the outside edge. I thought the black pen might help with defining the edges, but um, I needed to do some more with that. I used a baby wipe to actually blend it out so it would fade a little bit nicer, not have like an abrupt edge from using the paintbrush, and it worked pretty well. So 
I went back in with Payne's Gray. I established a ground line and put some shadows around the elephant just to make them stand out some more. And again, I used a baby wipe to soften the edge of the Payne's Gray. Just working back and forth. So now I'm using my charcoal pencil. This is my favorite charcoal pencil and it's getting smaller and smaller. I just used that with a Q-tip to um, go along the edge of where the paint was. Again, there's an edge there and it actually helped me out a lot uh, to create shadows and a little outlining. And I used a Q-tip just because to shade it, it's a little more exact and um, my fingers are really dried out so the Q-tip actually doesn't hurt as much. I used the This Is Love stencil on the side because I thought, well, I need to fill that area with something. I thought it was a great sentiment. I wanted to do it with just the charcoal. I thought that would be a cool effect, uh, but it was a little too light. So then I went back in and put some Payne's Gray on top of it so it would stand out just a little more. there's a lot of layers on here, I use the X-Acto knife to um, get the tape off. I cleaned up the border with my kneaded eraser and then I went back in with my charcoal pencil to make it pop off of the page a little bit more. It gave it a little bit more of an edge. I'd like to thank Donna and Bill Downey for letting me be a part of the 2015 Artist Gang team. It's been a great experience. I've learned so much from the other artists. I've learned so much from everybody who's watched the videos. I can't thank you enough. Um, I hope to see you as a guest artist in 2016. And you can always find me at denisaloka.blogspot, at my YouTube channel, My Art Adventures, and my Etsy store, My Art Adventures. Thanks for watching.